What's happening everybody? Today we're going to be covering how to rebuild that PS4 database and get your PlayStation 4 running at top performance. I believe this is the number one way to boost performance on your PlayStation for free. What happens is when you install games and delete them or save videos and delete those, they use up blocks of space on your hard drive and then as you delete them they free up those blocks. But they're not all in order. So you might have a game that takes eight blocks worth of data if it finds four blocks that are available, it'll fill up those and then it'll move farther down the section and fill up the next four that it can find in order to install. Well, that scatters that game's data across your hard drive. You want it to be nice and neat. It's like a person trying to read a book. If you were reading a book and all the sentences and words were scattered about, it'd take you a lot longer to read that book than if it's all nice and organized. And we're gonna do that today with the PS4. This is gonna increase your performance. It's gonna help if your home screen's lagging. It can help games where you might have downloaded content and you can't find that content because it's somewhere on the hard drive randomly or it's split up in multiple locations on the hard drive. It can fix those issues and overall boost the performance of your PlayStation. So when you're playing games, you'll see less frame rate loss your game's going to run smooth because it doesn't have to look all over for the different bits of information regarding that game. So let's get started. Let's get your PlayStation 4 running at top performance. This isn't going to ruin your PS4. You're not going to lose any data as long as you follow my directions. I cover how to do it if you have an external hard drive too, just to be safe because I want you to do it the correct way and be able to get back to enjoying gaming at its full potential. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start up your PlayStation, get to your home screen, and then go up, navigate up to the settings. You want to click on that. And then scroll down until you, until you see devices. Click on that. And then go down to USB storage devices. This is if you have an external hard drive. We want to eject it the correct way. You don't want to rebuild a database with the USB storage connected. So then if you have an external hard drive, you'll see it there on this screen it'll be green click on it and go down to stop using external hard drive you'll get a message that confirms that you have stopped using it and then the, gr the green light should now be off if you go back to that usb storage devices so at this point you want to go disconnect the external device from your playstation 4 if it's plugged into the back or front just unplug the usb we've properly dismounted it through the settings now disconnect it from your PlayStation 4 and then come back and get on your home screen. Hold the PlayStation symbol on your controller and turn off the PlayStation. Go down to turn off PlayStation. You don't want it to go into sleep mode. You want to turn it off. Now that it's fully off, you want to come back to your PlayStation, the actual hard console. And you're going to hold down the power button. You press it once and hold the button down. It's going to start up keep holding it when you hear that second beat let go now on your screen you should see the following message to connect a controller so we'll connect a controller via USB connect that to the console and then press the PS button on the center of the controller again now you'll be greeted with this menu you want to scroll down to rebuild database you want to make sure you're selecting Rebuild Database. You do not want to initialize PS4 or do anything else. You want to make sure you get to Rebuild Database, click X, and then you'll be greeted with this screen to confirm you want to rebuild the database and click OK. Now your system will shut off. Don't get nervous. That's natural. It's going to shut off and start back up. And it's going to check the system storage. And as it says, after the check is complete, the PS4 will automatically restart. So just kind of let it do its thing. It might take a little might take a little bit here. And then once it restarts, you'll be brought to this screen where it's going to start automatically rebuilding that database. Just let it do its thing. Don't unplug it during this. Let that finish completing rebuilding. And once it's done, you should be greeted like you have just turned on the PlayStation. And it's going to welcome you back from your journey of rebuilding the database. And you're good to go. You just rebuilt the database. You should feel proud of yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Your system's going to be running better. You'll have better performance. And maybe some of those games that you were having issues with won't have issues anymore. Please consider liking and subscribing. I really appreciate it. I hope this helped you out. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.